So this is our first update on what we've been doing with Jamie in these first two weeks and I'm excited to share that he's made some good progress in the different domains that I'll elaborate on further. Let's first take a look at Jamie in his first couple of sessions. Jamie didn't always listen to his therapist, displayed tantruming behaviors such as crying, hitting his head on the walls, and it was also challenging to get him to stay seated at the table. In terms of his language, he sometimes said no to familiar people when he did not want to do something. But often, his first resort is to scream to get what he wants or to have things done his way. As for the social domain, he did show strong interest towards adults and enjoyed some simple social games such as catching and stop and go but lack the sustained attention and compliance to learn the correct way to play the games. <laughs> so to address all of these issues, we began with a simple program where he just had to stop a preferred activity calmly. We started with immediately rewarding him for giving up the toy calmly, and then gradually increased the duration until we reinforced him. We also taught him to tolerate waiting for what he wants, as it is very important for a child to be okay with not getting what he wants immediately. This would also be a bridge to him tolerating not getting what he wants at all, which is what we call a denial. So initially we had the criteria of simply not grabbing the item while he waits, and he was able to do that for one and a half minutes. Then we layered on another criteria of being quiet too, as often it became disruptive when he repeatedly asked for the item. Book, book. Alright, let's wait. Time's up. Do you have your wait card? Wow, you're waiting so quietly. Here! You can wait. Another goal we had for him was to improve his learning how to learn skills in terms of sitting nicely at the table, responding to his teacher, not grabbing materials we use for teaching. So what we did was use the token economy to work on these target behaviors so that he would be more ready to start some learning. Very cool hands! Alright, and let's see, can I have the apple? Thank you! Wow! Good hands! Okay, go cook the apple in the pot. Right now what he's doing is mixing up a variety of simple instructions such as some receptive instructions and receptive labels. But what we want to do in the upcoming weeks is to systematically work towards incorporating new learning targets and sustaining his attention for a longer round. As for Jamie's communication, his therapist set up a lot of communication temptation opportunities across different activities and games to increase his spontaneous language. We prioritize teaching him to request for things he wants or to ask for help because that would already reduce a lot of the screaming to get what he wants or frustration from not being able to communicate accurately. I don't want. I don't want. Okay. In the upcoming weeks, we'll look into expanding these into sentences such as saying, I want this item, asking some questions, and also increasing the criteria of looking at us when he speaks. The last thing I wanted to share with you is him learning some simple social games. With this compliance much better, Jamie is now willing to listen to his therapist as to how to play the games correctly. 
Stay tuned for the next update on Jamie's progress in the upcoming weeks.